Hello everybody and welcome here into this video in which I will be covering a little bit of the context of the München sonatas written by Mozart and as we are going to cover number 4, 5 and 6 this month 2017 March on the channel it's a good idea I thought to give you a little bit of background information on those sonatas so these München sonatas, they are dated 1774, 1775. There is a little bit of discussion around that. We see that later. Mozart was about 17, 18 years old. And in fact, they were composed for a trip they planned to München. Both father and son returned from Vienna, late 1773. They moved to another house. It's the famous Tanzmeister house that had also a music hall in which Leopold Mozart displayed keyboard instruments amongst which the clavichords by Friedrichi. So he was not the only seller of Friedrichi instruments. Also, for instance, C.P.E. Bach was one of them. Another name, a little bit less famous, is Gottlob Neve, the teacher of Beethoven, was also a seller of Friedrichi clavichords and pianofortes. That house, of course, is of major importance of the life of Wolfgang. He remained there a few years, I think eight years. It was destroyed almost completely about 70 percent in world war ii but rebuilt in the 90s using actually the bricks and the parts that were left after the destroying of that building so today it's a reconstruction building of that time which is of course magnificent to see so around the period of moving to that Tanzmeister house returning from vienna and they would soon leaving for munich the number of works the 17, 18 year old Mozart is, is writing is simply astonishing. And so a very important assignment on top of that came from the Emperor uh, Maximilian Josef III, King of Bavaria, Munich, München in German. And so he asked for to write an opera for the next season of Carnival in February. And so this was of course a very important assignment. Mozart took the job. And in December 1774, father and son, they left for Munich, which was a, kind of, well, a two-day trip from Salzburg. So there is a little bit of uncertainty when the Munich sonatas exactly were written. The Neue Mozart Ausgabe believes that they were written in Munich while Wolfgang was there. So all six of them. While, for instance, another source, and there are many sources to be uh, that you can read about. Uh, so it's, for instance, this book has five or six volumes. It's very interesting. It's in French. It's a little bit old, but very, very, very thorough, very deep study. So um, the Saint Foy believes that these the first five of those sonatas were written as a preparation for the Munich trip, and the sixth one was an assignment from uh, of Baron von Durnitz that Mozart worked on in while being in Munich. Anyway, if Mozart wrote those sonatas end of 1774, beginning of 1775, it's clear that they all were fresh pieces, so it's interesting to look at them as a whole. These six sonatas are considered to be the, the first big sonatas by Mozart and also clearly sonatas that are solely dedicated for the keyboard, so not intended to be accompanied by a violin as was the practice before. That practice was left in that period and it is also astonishing to see how young Mozart incorporated, so to say, all kinds of influences of composers that he knew or that he met on his previous trips. So, of course, 1774 1773 as well, the big Joseph Haydn published a lot of keyboard sonatas and they have a clear influence on this work. There's no doubt about that. So Mozart clearly knew them and he was influenced by that. But there were other influences as well. Mozart took a lot from the parish uh, composers, like for instance his friend Stefan, who also published a set of three sonatas and later six new ones that clearly gave another style, maybe different even than that of Christian Bach and of course his friend Michael Haydn who lived in Salzburg and knew the Mozarts obviously very well was of very very deep influence so young Mozart knew as no other to incorporate all kinds of styles from Paris from France from Italy from German into of course the new fashion of that time which was the gallant style so Munich might not have been at all a very influential 
place for new fashion compositions, composers even, but a few hundred kilometers further, Mannheim certainly was. Mannheim was one of the central places in Europe for new fashion novelties, with an incredible influence on the developing of styles in the coming years. People like Stamitz, Richter and Cannabich. When Mozart Wolfgang would travel to Mannheim a few years later, he would dedicate even a sonata to the daughter of Cannabich. Mannheim had one of the best renowned famous orchestras of that time in whole Europe. So along with this opera, Il Finta Giardiniera, which was the opera that the emperor asked for, Mozart took along these six sonatas and he played them, obviously, I think, a lot in Munich to present them as a keyboard player. He didn't find a job, so he returned to Salzburg and then, of course, he prepared for his later journeys. These six sonatas are incredibly enjoyable. They're perfect keyboard pieces. There's a lot, a lot that one could talk about, so we will be covering this month. A few aspects of them, we'll be, we'll be recording them on YouTube, and actually all those sessions will be live streamed. If you're interested in following that and not have seen the introduction video I've made the 1st of March, it's in the playlist below on the homepage of Authentic Sound on YouTube, so there you can have the, find all information of this month's videos, including the dates. So. If this is your first time on Authentic Sound, I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to know more about Authentic Sound, my life record and a little bit the story of Authentic Sound, the ebook that went along with the three CDs is now for free as an ebook to download. The link is below. I'd love to have you on the channel on this journey this month and in the coming months this month for the Mozart Munchen Sonatas and we see each other soon again. Bye.